Ernestine Weidenbach developed a nursing theory called the helping art of clinical nursing. The theory is simply defined as a nursing practice wherein the nurse should determine the patient's need for help to cope with situations affecting his or her health through observation of the patient's symptoms and behavior. After identifying the patient's need for help, the nurse can now determine if the patient can resolve his discomfort by himself or if he will need another healthcare professional. So now, let us discuss a case scenario wherein this theory can be applied to. Suppose you have a patient who's suffering from headache. He then takes care of himself by taking a headache pill. However, the medication is not enough to lessen the pain that he feels. And so, he decided to seek help from a healthcare provider. In this scenario, we could see that the nurse is interviewing the patient. The nurse now records the patient's data and medical history. It was revealed that the patient has a medical history of constant headaches and hypertension. Because Weidenbach defined the nurse as someone who does not only act but thinks and feels as well, the nurse did not think that hypertension is just a coincidence. Rather, she thinks that hypertension might be the one that's causing the headache. And so, she is aware that the patient is in need of advanced healthcare professional help. The application of the theory in this scenario is relevant. Adaptation Model of Nursing by Sister Calista Roy Nursing is to help the person adapt to change in physiological needs, self-concepts, role, function, and interdependent relations during health and illness. Hi, good morning. I'm Monica. I'm your nurse for today. Good morning, nurse. Could you please tell me your name? My name is April. I am going to do my assessment as part of my daily routine and to know your condition. Is that okay? I took your vital signs and all are in normal range except your oxygen saturation. So let me put back your oxygen and put your bed to semi-polar's position so you can breathe better. You look upset and don't have energy. I am your nurse. You can tell me anything. I think my parents is tired because of me. I am a burden to them. Your family loves you and cares for you. Maybe they were just busy at work. You know that family comes first and your family loves you. Do you want me to call them for you? That would be a nice idea. Okay, I will call them. Thank you, nurse. Now I feel better. Behavioral System Model of Dorothy Johnson's. She believes that each individual has a focusing and repeating ways of acting which covers a behavioral system distinct to that individual. Hi, good morning, Ms. Ampolokyo. Good so, morning, nurse. I am Andrea, your student nurse for today. So, how are you? Are you feeling good? You look unwell. What happened to you, Ms. Ampolokyo? I'm feeling dizzy, nurse. Why? Why is that? I don't know. I just feel like vomiting. Okay, so you were diagnosed with anorexia nervosa when you were 16 and you were advised to undergo a dietary treatment program, alright? So, when did you try to eat full meal? Full meal? I think that it was a long time ago since I have no full meals. I only, only eat time. small. So what are the food that can give you a good appetite? I actually like um, dairy products and some fruits. Okay, so uh, because of your current situation, the doctor advised that you should comply your DPP to avoid a further complications in your body. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so... And also, don't forget to drink this supplement and eat healthy foods because it is important, you know, to keep, to keep you healthy build more energy and provide nutrients, okay? Okay, nurse, thank you.